Hey guys, it's Kate. It is Sunday and I am in my Magic Kingdom best because we are headed over there today to try a couple of different sweets. Hopefully we don't make ourselves too sick. But I'm wanting to try the Mickey Celebration pretzel with all of the different celebration um, food, beverage, and merchandise things out right now. That looks really cute. And they also have three new ice cream cones. A Lost Princess cone, which is inspired by Tangled, so I'm sure I'm going to love that one a Hey Hey cone, and an Up themed cone, which again, Up is one of my favorite Pixar movies, so I'm super excited about that one as well. Um, but then we're also just gonna go around the park. We do have some fast passes for Under the Sea, and Dumbo, and Jungle Cruise. So I'm just excited to spend the day at Magic Kingdom. It's beautiful out. I think it's like, maybe what, 70, hun? Um, Mm, it's sure. kind of cloudy, kind of overcast, so I'm just... 61. Oh, oh six, wait, wait, wait. No, I was like, 20, what? 74. It's 74, okay. I was like, 61's cold. Now. It's supposed to rain, 40% chance to rain at 4 to 5. Oh, okay. Well, we'll be out by 4 to 5. We're going to probably leave around 3, so um, let's go check it out. They've got Nick and Judy meeting. This is their line. Kind of substantial. I'd say probably 30, 45 minutes. Yeah, definitely be careful on the Main Street USA street because they do have the railroad tracks. And I have I have fallen before. Like you get your foot caught in a weird way. Yeah. <laughs> but we always have to get the first glimpse of the castle. Hey Amber. Hey Amber, I know, oh my gosh. So some of our good friends, Amber and Allie, are at Disneyland right now, and the castle is under scrim, um, so it just is really not magical. So we're just being turkeys, showing her how magical this castle is compared to the Disneyland one. I love it. princess cone. They did have the um, Tinker Bell cone here, but I'm not seeing that on the menu anymore. So it looks like they have
have a cookie sundae, the Lost Princess cone, and a Peter Pan float. I definitely do not see that sinker cone anymore, so I'm assuming, sorry, I'm assuming it replaced it. Um, but it's 529, and I'm very, very excited. See, but I actually think I'm in the pickup line, and I think I need to get over. Oops. All right, I got the Lost Princess cone. I already took the flowers off of it. I'll insert a picture. I think it's just the plain gold whip, right? With the beautiful edible flowers and the purple cone. It's really nice because even though it's 74 degrees, it's still pretty humid. So it's really nice and refreshing. I was trying to show the cone by your hand. Oh, sorry. Yeah, let them sit. Here, take You like it? It's really good. I got any. Is that the dough? We circled back into Storybook Circus because we have fast passes for Dumbo. So we're gonna ride that before we go get some lunch. Oh, that was cool. Castle show fireworks behind you. That was a cool shot. So I wanted to make an amendment to what I said. I said that this is like the Dole Whip. It is in that it's a soft serve ice cream, but it's not like a Dole Whip in the flavor. So a Dole Whip is pineapple. This is definitely a lemon. lemon. So I was saying, I think I actually like that better because with the pineapple, I feel like my um, tongue gets kind of tingly, but with that lemon, it just was really nice. Do it for the gram, I love it. Do it for the pop, do it for the pop. Got your pass, Mama? Oh. Winner, winner! <laughs> Got an ice cream waffle sundae, the sweet and spicy chicken sandwich, the foot long corn dog, and the berries and waffle with hazelnut spread sandwich. And with two bottles of water, it was like $45. $45 and no annual pass holder discount? No discount. We found a little spot in the shade, and when I say we, I mean my mom and my husband, because I was a big baby and sat in the Christmas store while they were ordering. It's March and it's warm. It's not, it's not hot, but it's just very humid. It's humid, yeah. And I just, all of a sudden, we were standing in line, and I was like, woo! So. You can see the castle shop from where we're sitting. Barely. But we're back here behind Sleepy Hollow. How's the food, baby? I just bit into my waffle. Mom and I destroyed that ice cream waffle sundae. How's your corn dog? It's really good. Good. It's really good. Good. Yeah, Mom, I want you to try the spicy chicken too because I think you'll like that. But lunch and a show isn't so bad. Jungle Cruise, Jungle Cruise. We're gonna see if we can get on here a little early. And Abel likes to wait back there because he doesn't like to be embarrassed if it doesn't work. What? You're good, go on top of Thank you. Wait, what? That's mine that you just tapped. Yeah, but you're with me. No, I know, I'm just telling him that's mine, so then that's yours. Yeah, he said we're fine. He's fixing it, you turkey. Thank you. Do we have any first timers here on the Jungle Cruise? First timers? Yeah, it's my first time as well. It's really crazy. Oh, good. It's like we're in the same uh, in the same boat. <laughs> Come on in, folks. Watch your head. Watch your step. Use the hand rail. Ready? Right, Mark's like real close to your face. Sorry, sorry Eddie. Here I'm sorry. We have our last few victims, visitors on board. Sorry. Come on in, folks. Watch your head. Watch your step. Use the hand rails. Um, Alrighty. Just remain fully seated. Look at that. Those lions are protecting that sleeping zebra. <laughs> oh, that zebra looks dead. Tired. He looks dead tired. Yeah. Uh, we're just gonna let him rest. In pieces. Ooh, in pieces. <laughs> Thank goodness. This is crazy. Are you guys seeing this? I've never seen anything like this before. Look, there's gonna be at least like a million rocks on that beach. Well, they're at the bottom though. That's my friend Ina. Everyone say hi, Ina. Hi, Ina. Uh, over Ina. here to the left side of the boat, you'll see all these plants that grow out here in the jungle. These are really, really rare and exotic plants. Uh, like these ones right up here. See, they have those big green leaves. Um, if you look behind the plants over here that have the big green leaves, though, you're going to see absolutely nothing. Now, coming 
Speaking of behind the ears, Schweitzer Falls, named after the very famous jungle explorer, Dr. Albert Falls. If you didn't get it, it's okay. We'll go over it later. Be right up there, though. Look at that. Two baby elephants bathing under a full moon. Wow. You don't see that every day. Unless you're me. Um, oh, gosh. We do have to be careful of a couple guys in here. Yeah, sometimes they like to play little tricks on the boat here, but... Them. They only ever come up once. And you know, a lot of people, they do think that that's water. No, no, no. Don't do that again. Don't do it. Don't do it. Ah! A lot of people think that that's water. <laughs> New thing spotted. Oh. Is that gold? Mm -hmm. Gold, actually. And then so I think it's a silver, silver ear with a gold bow. It's really hard to tell even right up on top of it. That gold is not a vibrant gold. No, it's more metallic than like a yellow gold. It's beautiful. So really sparkly. But I love this and I jacket. imagine those are $27.99 typical. And this jacket is very cool. Um, so it has the back with this cool embroidery detail with Mickey in the castle. This is embroidered here, but then this is like painted on glitter. Oh, okay. Um, I like that it doesn't like have the year. Screen I guess. Yeah. Because then it's, you know, you can just wear it forever and have it not be dated. And it does have the embroidery castle with the Disney D on the top as well. And that is $64.99. That also looks like a new mug, Mama. These mugs. Oh, okay. So here is Walt Disney World blue mug. Most magical place on earth. There's actually quite a bit of dust on this mug. They probably should dust down here. $22.99. And then this one's really cute. I like that it looks like it's painted. Walt Disney World. Oh, cool. So it's like nighttime fireworks and daytime. That's cool. Oh, I really like this mug. That's $13.99. And then they also have this gold. Most magical place on earth. Walt Disney World. I don't know if you can see that real well. Mom, look at I really like this one a lot. It's $13.99. It has the day castle on the front and then the night castle on the back oh, that's nice. and then says most magical place on earth in Walt Disney World isn't that one cool? That's really pretty. Coming. They also have these little frames. Oh I showed you that when we went to Epcot. Which I like those for the first. Yeah. And then, um... Oh yeah look. So here's this shirt. Beautiful. It almost looks like it's, it is. I think it's a mesh on the back. Oops. I just want one, not two. Oh, it's like silk. It's like silky. It's like a glitter. Mm-hmm. So I would say when you're sweating, that's probably not comfortable because it would stick to you. Um, but, you know, for now, now weather. That's really nice. Um, flip around and this a beautiful photo of the book. Okay. Wow. It's a photo album. Most magical place on earth. Those are stunning. That is like a almost, I would say almost like a, yeah, because it definitely is not screen printed. Like it has a different texture. That's $34.99. It holds 200 four by six photos. It includes one gel pen and it is acid and PVC free. So I think that that will keep your photos protected. That's super cute. Oh, well, that's really cute. Oh, $19.99. Cute. So here are the ears again. Here's the other shirt that I saw. Where dreams come true. $34.99. This very much reminds me of Rapunzel. I like the weight of this though. It's not a lightweight, it's like a medium weight t shirt, mm -hmm. but it's really soft. Yeah. I really like that. It's a fun little detail right there. They also have this cool pen. Ooh, the store's opening. Sorry. Um, it actually matches that photo album. Oh, it's a fitting room. That's nice. It's a fitting room, but she didn't come out with anything but a hat. <laughs> well, and they probably have a mirror. There's a fitting room right here. Check it out. There's a girl in there. There's somebody else in there, so they were probably both trying on things at the same time. So I didn't want to show her. Um, that's really cool. I also wanted to show you guys these ornaments over here because it looks like they're part of that same line. So this one I believe what? lights up. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, and it changes color. 
That's super cool. To green, to blue. Ooh, it's like an ice blue. Kind of a more purpley and back to white. Very cool. And then they have the same that was on the mug that I like, the day print and then the night print. And this is $16.99. Super pretty. I love this magical collection. Really cool. We rode Dumbo today. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. The mug is, what is that? $16.99. It says Dumbo Flying Elephant. And on the other side it has uh, Medici Pro Circus Presents. I don't know how to say that name correctly. I'm sure I'm getting shamed in the comments. Um, here's the Fireman Dumbo. And it comes also in its collection with the Dreamland Dumbo, which I don't see. Oh, he's right here. Hello. Good gracious. So they have both of them here if you're wanting to collect those ones. Cute. You can hear Festival of Fantasy in the background. Those are $14.99. And then they also have the Big Feet Dumbo. These plush, I think, are really sweet. This guy is $26.99. You can see his big ears. So cute. I don't know how often they show Magic Bands. I feel like they're continuously releasing them. For their solid colors, they've got this really beautiful Kelly Green, a sky blue, cherry red, that really deep royal purple, white, black. Um, looks like those are the new solid colors. But then they have several new patterns that are, you know, themed. So this is for the Rock the Dots mini. Oh, there you go. The detail is in the dots, so cute. And these ones, I think, are more expensive than the solid color ones. Um, here is Flynn Rider, which is really cool. It has a Snuggly Duckling and Maximus on the other side. That's a cool one. And then this one is all of the princesses. So they've got Rapunzel, Jasmine, Tiana. This says Unlock the Magic. That's super cute. Then they have this really pretty silver and gold sketch. Kind of like the t-shirt and the new castle ears I showed you. It's kind of all in that same line. So you can see the Mickey on that side. That one's really pretty. Then this MU one is definitely new. With Mike and Sully on the other side. Festival of Fantasy is coming closer. This Dumbo one I cannot get over. Look how sweet he looks. Oh my gosh. I actually have quite a few Magic Bands. I was going through a phase where I was collecting the holiday ones. So I should wear them more often. Look at this one with the little snow geese. And Olaf. Oh, that one's really cute. Then there's Dr. This is a villain's one. So they've got Gaston, Dr. Facilier, the Black Cauldron, villain, Scar, um, Jafar, and Hades. It's a really cool one as well. So definitely check the, take some time to check these out too if that is something you know that you're interested in or wanting to kind of go with your Disney Park outfit. Here's Fox and the Hound. It's his best friends on the other side. Because there are a lot of options, a lot more than I realize. Look at this Thumper one for Easter. And Miss Bunny. I mean, it doesn't have to be for Easter, but this just looks very Eastery to me. That's really cute. Super fun. As you can see, there's just a whole wall. And there's a whole bunch up there I didn't even show you. There's Marvel, Star Wars. Um, that one looks like Emperor's New Groove, like Cusco. It definitely is. This is a limited release. It's hard to show you with the light in here because the light creates a glare on the plastic. Um, but very cool.
posted these on my Insta stories at Springs yesterday, but I still wanted to actually show them in a video. This small one is two forty-eight. <laughs> it seems like it's a lot littler than the one we saw. At, no, um, it was the size. Oh, okay. So it's small. It's like this is my wallet. Yeah, so her Kipling it's not, bag. It's not huge. Um, I do like this little front. I like pocket. the Tinkerbell green. Yeah, it's on pretty. The inside. There's a strap if you can see it. Mm -hmm. These ones are strapped down, so I'm not gonna be able to move them too much. Right. Here's the medium tote. Now, what's interesting about this is it has really long drop handles, and it actually is no zipper closure. It's just a fold-over piece of leather, and then it snaps open to reveal the inside of the bag. And that one is 268. So snap to yeah, I think so. And, and then here's the little crossbody. This is so 198. This is my favorite style. I love the crossbody. It's so like a little a envelope bag. bag. It's square. It's super cute. This one is 198. 198. There's the strap. I like this one. It's pretty deep. You can go. Yeah, a lot of stuff definitely. In there. Your phone, your cards, your keys. There's the key sure. fob right there. And the crossbody strap. But it is, um, it's not super vibrant. It's um, brightly colored, but then it's almost muted a little bit, I oh, think. Because it's on the white background. But I think that that was very smart because it could look very neon, but it doesn't. It doesn't. It's just it's a really very pretty. good, like mom said, the, the pops of color come from the flowers, but then with on the it being on the white background, it tones it down quite a bit. Yeah, the, these colors, I don't know, I just don't know how to describe it. But they, are, they are jewel tones, but it is not as vibrant as it could be, which mm -hmm. is nice. So those are those, and these are actually across the street. So where I was at was the Emporium, which is just across the street there. But if you come here, this is where they have the higher end. So the Dooney's, the Pandora, um, the Lounge Flies. Yeah, it says watches on the outside of the store, which is interesting. Um, they've got all of the, like, the Disney Enchanted jewelry. It's definitely um, the more expensive shop, for sure. But, of course, that's the one that I like. We had so much fun today. We met Ariel, which was not the intention. We were supposed to ride under the sea, but that's okay. We got the Lost Princess Cone. We got lunch. We rode Dumbo. We rode Jungle Cruise. It overall was just a really fun day. We were only here for a couple of hours, which is a perk about being a local. So if you did enjoy, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!